Hello and welcome to another episode. Um, this is a bit of a continuation of the one about keeping your healthy 12 volt battery from um, earlier in the week. Uh, an awful lot of comments um, were put on this video uh, and many valid points and some stuff I didn't know and also a better way of monitoring on Car Scanner Pro came out of it as well so you can see more of what's going on and how much energy has been drained with various functions. Um, so working my way through the comments, um, someone was saying, well the 12 volt battery used to be able to cope with this train of turning a massive engine over in the middle of winter, how could, how could it not cope with this? And that's a good point because, I mean, some batteries start, they used to draw 150 amps to 600 amps depending on the size of the car. Uh, so that's a valid point, but despite that, here we are and it still has the issues. So, uh, someone uh, took his car into the dealer, he had the bonnet left open for 24 hours and uh, that kept on sending out um, Kia Connect notifications saying, you know, bonnet's open, car's not locked. And then eventually the low battery warning started coming up on the Kia Connect app. So, Kia Connect in that situation um, <laughs> is draining the car's battery for sure. Uh, he had to go into the dealer, ring the dealer in the end to, go to get them to shut the bonnet to save the battery going completely flat. Um, so that's a good example. Um, so the car can also send repeated alerts when it's unlocked or when the bonnet's open and various things. And um, Kia Connect does have an impact. And now I've got um, a better way of seeing what the impact is inside um, car scanner. I'll, I'll come to that later. I also forgot to test the, the electric window sunroof because they, they will have an impact. But it's nice if you're doing that all the time. Um, An ordinary, and as other people have said, ordinary cars can cope with that with no issues. Um, Alan Brown, who runs the Car Scanner uh, YouTube channel, uh, pointed me in the direction of some extra uh, 12 volt screens and how to get to them. Uh, and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, Gordon Bradford, who I've known from various Facebook groups um, on the EV6 uh, for a while, uh, he uses um, a plug in. Uh, 12 volt uh, monitor it goes in the cigar lighter and that's got an LED display on the end so that's a good quick way of looking without having to mess too much. Um, I'll put a picture of that up there. Um, someone uh, that told me that there was an old bug with the Zappi chargers where if you got it in Eco Plus mode and you left it plugged in all the time it would cause a phantom drain on the 12 volt battery but it's now been fixed because the car was just basically, basically waiting for surplus but it was causing an issue. An Ionic 5 owner uh, informs me that the 12 watt battery status isn't available in the Blue Link app, which is the, the, the their, their version of uh, Kia Connect. Well, I didn't know that. It's a bit strange. You'd expect it to be because they're basically the same app. So who knows? If you're going to leave it locked in the garage for a month and you're away, it's worth um, turning off Kia Connect and put it in offline mode in case, you know. It is dialing back to servers and slowly draining itself and, and not topping itself up. Um, so to do that just go into Kia Connect and Kia Connect settings and then offline mode just press that and it's the reverse to undo that. Then that basically shuts the car up and will not run the telematics but it's, uh, if it was stolen from the garage, then you wouldn't be able to track it if you left it in valet mode. But I mean, it's, if it's in the garage, it's more likely to be safe. Anyway. Anyway, tip from Alan Brown on, on car scanner. Um, in car scanner, um, it's worth occasionally resetting the dashboard. So you go into settings, then dashboard and then scroll down and do a, a reset dashboard to default and that puts everything back the way it should because there could be old settings that you've been uh, or customizations you've put in and, and every time you update it um, you're missing out on some of the new good stuff so I've done that so I'll just connect now I've got my uh, ODB plugged in My 
wait for it. Right, we're connected, so then press dashboard. This will be the, in the last place that you left it. If you press around the top there, you can see it's one of 28 screens. So if you press that one of 28, you get, then get a list up. It's currently on the Bjorn star, named after Bjorn Island, uh, the well-known YouTuber, uh, I would guess. And scroll down to all, through all of these screens to the one that's covering uh, 12 volts battery LCD to V2L. And then it draws a graph of how many amps have been drawn and you've got um, your 12 volt battery state of charge up in the corner there and the current battery voltage so uh, and, and apparently the battery temperature somehow uh, and various other things that are going on um, so currently my 12 volt is in good shape um, if I turn the car off and do a key connect, so I've got it on this 12 volt special screen where you've got the um, state of charge and the voltage and apparently the battery, 12 volt battery temperature. And you've also got a graph of the um, usage in amps that's been pulled from the 12 volt battery. Um, I wish I had this all the other day because it's, it's more meaningful. Um, so I'm going to repeat some of the tests. Um, you'll see how much it uses when I do a status update and various things. And I'm recording the screen so you should be able to see it nice and clear. So I'll do a status update. That pulls 10 point something amps normally. I've been watching it. Yeah, that pulled 10 amps. 98% state of charge. Do one more. That pulled 8.9 amps. It takes, I don't know, uh, four or five statuses to reduce the 12 volt battery by 1%, I found. So, it uses a lot more than I thought it would. Do another one. Another status refresh. That one used 8.54, went down to 96% state of charge. Now I'm going to do a remote open of the um, charging door. That briefly used 32 amps. <laughs> wow. And then close the charging door. 9 amps, 9.63. And then I'll open it again. Open, 9.4, close, and, um, I'll do um, a schedule read, it's retrieving the schedule. And each time it's, it's almost 10 amps it pulls. And then do another remote status. Again, <laughs> 10 amps. to um, another open the charging door. And then I close the charging door. Another 10 amps pulled. And then I'll do three more status checks. See if I can reduce it by another 1%. Not quite. Um, Second one, third one, 
I'll open the charge door a few more times. See if we can get it down to 95%. Open the charge door, 95%, there we go. Hasn't really taken that much to, to lose 5% of the 12 volt battery charge. So I'm quite amazed how much energy it consumes when you're doing these telematics things. Close charging door. Still says the battery's okay. Status recheck. Reset. And I'll do a few more open and closes of the charging door. Open. Close. Yeah, that's just close the door. The graphs just jittered. Now I'll do a few more status checks. One. Another 9.9, .9, 10 amps pulled. Two. Three, four, as I move from ninety five, five, six, and open the charging door a few more times. Close the door. And a status or two. Ninety four percent, there we go. If I did this for an hour or two, <laughs> we'd be down quite quickly to 50%. Um, it's amazing how much it uses. Anyway, that's all I've got to add to the subject of 12 volt batteries and I hope you've enjoyed watching and you find this informative and it's useful to somebody. Thanks for watching.